Caesar. Today, let's talk about New York Life Disability Insurance Company. Now, as you know, New York Life is probably the world's largest mutual life insurance company. I think they have something like $525 billion in assets, at least as of 2016. So. Disability is not a big part of what they do, but certainly they've been selling policies for at least the last 40, 50 years of disability claims, and we've seen a lot of them. What types of policies do you usually see from New York Life when we're representing clients? Well, um, some of the older policies that we see would likely be individual policies, ones that were individually written for the insured, so for the physician, for the specialist, for the person looking at the time to insure their occupation. Now, I think more currently, they've moved out of that business and you see a lot more group coverage or association coverage. So, for instance, through the American Medical Association or something, or a uh, certain physician's uh, alumni group for a university or something like that. So that's what we see more, more of the group coverage with certificates being issued out to the participants of that group. Um, The disadvantage of those policies is they're not as good as the individual policies that you would want to purchase if you were looking to insure right. your occupation. They're a lot cheaper, kind of you get what you pay for. Right. Um, many of them though aren't governed by ERISA, right. which we've spoken a lot about ERISA, the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, which then has limitations and you don't get the right to a jury trial. However, if it's a group association policy and you're not employed by that particular group, then often you can that policy should be ERISA exempt, meaning you could still get your right to a jury trial. Correct, exactly. How do you feel about the way in which the New York Life employees administer their claims? Well, um, you know, we see, we get calls and we see claims from all the big disability insurance companies. We've probably covered every insurance company that has underwritten disability insurance, we've handled it. So we do, gauge and weigh how each company behaves and the claims process for each company. So we do have the pulse on that. And I could say New York Life tends to be one of the more reasonable companies. Um, They'll go through a very thorough process with evaluating a claim. Mm -hmm. That's not to say there haven't been exceptions and they've made bad claims decisions. They can, just like any other disability insurance company, they can uh, get lazy and decide, okay, well, we're just going to have some consultant take a look at this. And based on whatever he says, we're just going to make a decision on that. So they can do something like that. And that's what a person really needs to be looking out for when they submit a claim is, is the claim being hastily handled? Is it being rushed through a process where they're just being sent out to an independent medical exam or they're, you know, have the feeling maybe they were under surveillance or something like that. And that process right there, that incident right there with an IME or or surveillance could lead to the end of their claim or a denial of their claim. Yeah, I think their claims people are, you know, probably above average, they tend to do a good job with their hiring, Mm -hmm. which can't be said for a lot of the other disability companies. But that being said, their claims people are going to be probably more thorough than the other disability insurance companies. But one of the things that kind of is most challenging about the New York life policies, and when I say you get what you pay for, is that they're usually not a pure own occupation definition of disability. It's usually you can't do any other occupation if you're not able to do your own, which means Mm -hmm. that if you are a, um, a doctor or a lawyer, that basically they'll say, okay, if you can't do your occupation and you're doing nothing else at all, then we'll pay you. Mm-hmm. But if you switch and go to teaching or you decide you're gonna, you always, whatever, anything else you wanna do, you wanna work in a library or you wanna work in a sandwich shop or whatever and you start making money, then we're not gonna consider you total anymore. So I don't like that in this group policy, particularly the one they commonly sell that we see a lot of denials, is that it's not a true own occupation policy. Also, I've seen where they have a limited pay period for own occupation. Maybe it's two years, maybe it's three years, and then it switches to any gainful occupation. So you're only getting some temporary protection, but that's the nature of what you paid for that policy and what you got yourself into. And the other thing that uh, people need to look out for is oftentimes, you know, we see these group association policies through New York Life, and then the claimant also has another group insurance or other individual insurance. And the other group insurance they have will offset for any other group coverage. And they treat that New York Life policy like another group coverage. And what arguments we've tried to make in the past is, well, this isn't just another group policy because it's issued through an association or or um, through their involvement or you know participation in some alumni group or whatever. Right. These are franchise policies, not necessarily group policies. And we've dealt with that a couple of times as well. Yeah, that's a very 
um, technical legal argument that we've made, and it could be possibly that that association policy sold by New York Life is worthless. Right. Because it's an offset. But that scenario is only going to apply if you have multiple policies, another one being group, another one being individual. But usually your individual disability policy won't offset the association policy, although I have seen it, or right. any other disability <laughs> policy offsets the New York Life policy. So. If you have a New York Life policy, and they write these policies just because they're called New York Life, they don't just write them in New York, they write them you know, all over the country. Feel free to give us a call, send us a copy, email us a copy of your policy, we will review it for you right away. If you've been denied, we'll review your denial letter, and we'll give you an opinion immediately as to whether or not we can assist you with your claim.